Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I haven't quite thought about the title for this video yet, but I just wanted to give my thoughts and opinions when it comes to American politics. So I'll just start first with a brief introduction to politics itself in case you don't really understand much of politics uh, and then I'll give my opinion. So growing up I never really used to be into politics. I think it's only when I was about 18 or 19 I started to get interested. So I've been following politics maybe maybe more since uh, Trump became president or slightly before that. And yeah, I was just like um, a lot of people I who live outside the US. I didn't really know what the different sides stood for. I didn't really know what a lot of the term terminology meant. Uh, but my thoughts and views have evolved over the time. So yeah. I would just like to explain some of the things that I've learned. So in general, uh, the, the first thing to learn about American politics or politics in any country, those specifically American, is we have what's known as a left and a right. So it can be a bit confusing at first because someone may tell you, oh, that's just left-wing politics or that's right-wing politics, and you're like, which side is which um, uh, there was another video that was done on YouTube that explained how it originated I think there was some kind of ceremony where there was a king at the front and those who supported him sat on the left and those who, who opposed him sat on the right I think the story goes something like that but over time, you will slowly get to learn which is the left and which is the right. It takes some time, but you will get it. So going to the next level, uh, the left can be defined as largely liberals, which is sort of another name for the Democratic Party. It's more like being liberal is like your view and Democrats or the Democratic Party is your party, right? So you can have another party, but basically your view is you want to be more liberal. And then it's the same thing with conservatives. So conservatives are on the right. And again, the Republican Party is their party. So again, you can be... Um, you can be conservative in your views, but then the party that you subscribe to is the Republican Party. But I'm just saying it's more like the party doesn't necessarily define the views. Like you might be conservative, but you support a different party. It's just America has more of a two-party state, kind of. And then you have moderates. So moderates are in the middle. And moderates can be either moderate left or moderate right so it means you don't really lean too strong towards either side so moving on to the left some things that define the left or liberals or the democratic party uh, is their views so some of the views are one they in no particular order, but one, religious freedom. So the left is the most accommodating of all religions in the sense that whether you're Hindu, Buddhist, Muslim, Jainist, Christian, atheist, I mean, Freemason even, uh, the left respects your right to your religion. So worship whoever you want and they believe uh, there should be separation of church and state, that you shouldn't enforce religious beliefs on, on other people, or rather the government shouldn't be composed of people who 
enforce one specific religion or one specific set of beliefs religiously. Next, they're also the largest supporters of the LGBTQ IAAPP community. These are these are very, very long acronym these days. Like it includes, I think, asexuals, straight uh, straight allies, bi curious, not bi curious, um I think there's experimenting anyway, LGBTQ the left supports them. So gay rights, trans rights are uh, definitely you want to be a liberal right you want to be a democrat uh drug decriminalization so again they want uh drugs to be legal like marijuana for example they want it to be legal and it's not just because they enjoy it it's also because they feel like minorities are what's the word, Affect, disproportionately affected by the incarceration rate when it comes to, uh, when it comes to, like, drug offenses. So that's another reason they want it to be decriminalized. And green energy. So the Democrats uh, love green energy. They want, you know, recycling, global warming. So someone like, what's her name? the the young girl she's swedish uh the one for you have stolen my dreams <laughs> the name escapes me greta thunberg that's the one should be left like her views would either be left or primarily seen as left and the democrats would largely agree with her so the only major downside to the left is because they also believe in uh, big government, so they believe more government is better and the government should do more to help people. So helping out with infrastructure projects and such, they realize in order to do this, you need more taxes. And that is probably the number one reason a lot of people are not Democrats, or rather the only logical reason like not to be a Democrat. I'll get more into that in a second so at the right uh the right is mainly conservative so first of all their main religion is christianity right and so that's why trump was being endorsed by a lot of evangelicals so you'd find a lot of christian religious leaders were really uh supporting trump or they normally support republicans and that's due to their religion. And, you know, in religion, in Christian religion, certain things are seen as wrong, right? So homosexuality is seen as being wrong, for example. Worshipping other gods is seen as wrong. So because of that, the right may, quote-unquote, seem uh, very uh, intolerant, uh, a bit racist, and a bit xenophobic. Because, you know, ideally, people on the right would prefer if everyone just worships the Christian God, you know, like they say, oh, in the dollar bill, it's in God we trust or God's nation. Like the way Trump made a lot of comments about God, which technically did not accommodate people of a different faith. Right. And the right is seen as being more entrepreneurial. They love big business and supporting big business and they believe billionaires should exist, right? They really love billionaires, which technically is the only logical reason to be on the right wing is because they realize that entrepreneurship is important. Uh, the other thing is gun rights, okay? So... America is divided into left, uh, like red states and blue states. So blue is the Democrats and or, li or liberals. Red is the conservatives or Republicans. So blue states will have more laws that are that uphold the values of the left, and red states will have more values 
uh, that support the right. <clears throat> so in states that are left, uh, blue, for example, those would be the states where gay marriage would be legal. But in, in uh, states that are red, um, that's when, in states that are red, that's when, oh, text messages, states that are red, that's where gay marriage would be legal, but guns would be illegal. So, now my opinion on the two. I think basically, in my opinion, it makes a lot of sense to be on the left, except for the taxes, because everything else I agree with, like, you know, even minorities, like, if you're to look at a cabinet, uh, like Joe Biden's cabinet versus Trump's cabinet, Joe Biden has a lot more minorities. So if you're, re if you're a minority, like when that's why uh, Biden said, if you, if you, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. Like he just meant that like seriously, <laughs> the party that supports, supports minorities the most would be the left, right? Like the guy who's actually going to hire a black person or a Mexican person or, or a Japanese person or an Indian person is more likely to be a Democrat than a Republican. And this can be reflected in the cabinets that they had, right? So I think Republicans, the issue is, okay, if you're a Christian, I can see why you'd want to be Republican. But there are very many different types of Christians, you know. There are some Christians who very, very strongly uh, follow their beliefs. So they want to enforce Christianity around the globe. But there are others who, again, they're more quote-unquote liberal. And you're starting to see how the term is used. And they're like, okay, even if I'm Christian, it doesn't mean that everyone else has to be Christian. Right? So that's why, quote-unquote, conservative, I think you're starting to see how the term is used, conservative people, um, conservative people uh, basically, uh, they don't like the idea of, like, homosexuals, for example, because they're conservative, they're traditional, they're based on, quote-unquote, traditional ideas of marriage right so yeah essentially as a minority myself i think i agree the left the only issue is the taxes so that to me because honestly if you're living in the 21st century like don't you agree people should have religious freedom uh, homosexuals should be accepted, drugs, well, maybe that's debatable, but uh, green energy, I mean, we're going to die of global warming, and obviously minorities is good. But the taxes, that is where I would say a lot of intellectual people tend to disagree. Like, that's the only logical thing you can say doesn't make a lot of sense about the Democrats. And the big issue is like, oh, you know, uh, people such, a, such as Elizabeth Warren or, excuse me, Elizabeth Warren or uh, Bernie Sanders, they're like, oh, you know, billionaires should not exist. Keep on taxing billionaires, right? But the flaw in that logic is kind of saying like, okay, how are you going to build the economy if you don't have billionaires? Like, if billionaires don't exist, if you make it illegal for billionaires to exist, then who's going to start companies, right? Like, if you're going to pay a manager and a janitor the same salary, like, who wants to be a manager? Who's going to study, like, who's going to get five PhDs to be a manager? Or maybe, maybe not even a manager, maybe even, like, a doctor or researcher. Who's going to spend... Uh, all that time getting like a PhD or going through 11 years of medical school if you're gonna get the same job as you know like a janitor or 
high school teacher or a driver, a bus driver, like a bus driver, you know, you can earn the same money as a doctor, <laughs> except you, you like, I don't know, just have to finish high school. So I, I think that logic doesn't make a lot of sense. And uh, with the Republicans, as I was saying, none of what they say makes sense except the taxes. So literally, I think the solution is if, if the left would just change their opinion on taxes, I literally think they would manage to convince everyone within reason to be a Democrat. Like that's really the only thing holding people back, right? Because obviously, unless you're a racist or a homophobe or a xenophobe, then you know like then that that you know that's just the person that's wrong but the taxes thing that's what i'm saying it's it's rather debatable so yeah i think if democrats would basically uh rethink the idea of taxing billionaires to extinction then more people would be able to listen to them. But I think you find there are a lot of Republicans who, you know, they're not, they're not racists, they're not xenophobes, they're not homophobes, but they don't like the idea of being taxed to extinction, right? So they're like, okay, um, I believe in all these values and I really don't like these guys who support these other values but if you're telling me to choose uh, between supporting values where i don't get taxed and supporting values where i do get taxed it's a it's a no-brainer so yeah that's ultimately the solution to american politics is the left needs to just stop taxing people and then everyone will vote for them I think, like, what they need to do, for example, is focus on closing tax loopholes, focus on making corporations pay taxes, but not the individual. Because the idea of the wealth tax, maybe that should be a part two. Oh, fine.